Welcome, guys. Welcome. Exciting, exciting uh, day here today. Exactly. I see more than one thing standing here. Yeah. We've got some bread, your sauce, and we've got some lacquer like red box. Yeah, it's just a red random time. red box that's standing here. Don't know what's in it that needs to be sold. Okay. First, let's introduce Rinas and Nate's Isaac. We're going to have a few things to talk about. Uh, let's mm. start with the Chili Fiesta, which is coming this uh, weekend. This weekend. Not next weekend, this, this weekend. weekend. Not last weekend, this weekend. Sea Oaks definitely there. It's going to be epic, mm. I think. Um, yeah, what's the other thing we want to chat about? Um, the Sword Challenge Box. Capsicum Is that Show what's Challenge in the... Box. I think so. I don't know. Let's Just see. unveil it quickly. Let's, Let's see. What see. It is. Let's see. Let's unveil it together because maybe it is a challenge box and this is a momentous occasion. <gasps> Man, this is. Man, look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look professional? Yes, I like it. And uh, we had Gary Conker two days ago who did the chug challenge on it. Hey, welcome guys. Rinas here from the Capsicum Show. Exciting day. Uh, we've got Mr. G-Man coming in. He's going to be the first to do our Capsicum Show Challenge Box, the full chug challenge. So yes, let's add the guys and we'll have Robert coming in as well. Other guys. Hello everyone. G-Man. Rob. What's Rinas. happening? Yeah, um, exciting times I suppose. we got uh, this to get through. Mm, so mm. happy days we'll be the first guy so uh, we feel very honored and uh, thanks for participating honored to be uh, asked to do this okay right, Trish, you, so... <laughs> you want to run down what it's all about uh, one of you have you got the rules there uh, i think you've got the rules with you mate <laughs> <laughs> right Apparently, so, it's, uh, you do one bottle Wait a bit, yeah, and then uh, looking we'll like inside. Running. Yeah, looks it's lovely. Inside, inside. One through to six. Yeah, so we've got a uh, participants to claim up, uh, and then uh, just basically says that I understand the many products challenges from the Capsaicin show contain extreme heat and should be used as directed and responsibly. I understand that these products can cause serious harm if consumed in large quantities. Apply to the skin, eyes, or any other bodily parts. These products are consumed entirely at my own risk, and I understand the potential harm uh, if I use it responsibly. It is my responsibility when I give them to these products as a gift. I'm not giving them as a gift, so I think I'm going to skip that part. But if you are giving them as a gift, you need to warn the person you give them to about the possible of the dangers thereof. All of the products purchased by the Capsaicin Show should be kept away from children at all times. Uh, all the parts, all the products were kept, kept so uh, uh, except the capsaicin show show and the rules, suppliers, contributions, manufacturers, and will bear no responsibility or liable for any injuries or harm caused for the irresponsible use of this product. Uh, whether I purchase these products from myself or as a gift, I understand and acknowledge agree to this fact. So basically done. I, Gary Kanker, am over the age of 18. I'm of sound mind and have read and understood the participating disclaimer as set up by the capsicum show. I accept that caps can show the suppliers, contributors, manufacturers, under no circumstances be held liable or responsible for any injury or harm caused by consuming this product or products. I agree and acknowledge that any question and uh, that I do not uh, do this out of my own free will. Remove bottles to reveal the challenge. So we've got bottle one. Move back to front of the bloody cameras. Bottle two. And these are all still sealed, of course. Three. Four. It looks lovely. Uh, five. And six. 
Right, and now you've got the rules. You've got two challenges here. The first one is coat each wing with a teaspoon. Well, you've got the wing challenge, so you're going to grill a few wings, whatever. Coat each wing with a teaspoon or a tablespoon, depending on the tolerance of each sauce or in sequence from one to ten. Eat the wings in sequence fairly quickly so the heat can stack. Or for a challenge, finish the wings as fast as you can using a timer. Try to endure a three minutes afterburn uh, time with nothing to drink. Uh, but we're going to go for the big one, challenge two, which is the chug challenge. Down the bottles in sequence from one to six. One minute wait time between each bottle and a three minute afterburn with nothing to drink after the last bottle. I am assuming, Rinus, you have a counter there for me. Okay, so you're going to start, and then it's going to be one middle minute, minute, minute burn, and then a three minute. <laughs> one minute burn after each bottle, and after the final bottle, we'll do a three minute burn. Okay, good stuff. Okay, I'm ready on one minute here. Time is set, so you can just start. Right. And... So we'll start with bottle one, and on the side here it says Sally dressing. So Sally salad. Let's go for it. That was Rob's one. <laughs> There's it no should be quite there. tasteful right there still. There's it's always the milder like, side. Like a vinaigrette. <laughs> there we okay, go. Okay, here we go. I'm Agreed. starting. Go. Mm. Very nice vinaigrette flavored there. Um, jalapeno used in this one? I'm sure there is. Eh? I'm sure there is. It, and it tastes like it. Big chunks of jalapeno. Um, good good flavor. Lovely vinaigrette. I like that. For a salad dressing. The wife wouldn't. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's got the lovely um, vinegar on the tongue. Um, slight little jalapeno tingle as well um in the back of the throat fading very quickly although the vinaigrette's still lingering okay right. so there's a timer 10. bottle number two five four three two one all right this one is harry curry Yep, curry based. That was Bry Boy's uh, one to the addition. Thick curry. Um, lovely, sweet, beautiful curry flavor. Mm -hmm. You definitely have shaken it a lot more. Okay, Good let's stuff. start it. Yeah. Um, heads up number two, shake very well. All bottles um, should be shaken well, actually. Yeah. Okay. So just, but that's got a beautiful curry flavor as well. Very mild. Um, chunks of, of um, chili in there and other herbs and spices. Quite sweet. Um, that could easily be an everyday sauce. Beautiful, actually, for a mild sauce. Lovely. That was good. Um, so far, I'm giving you two out of two for their profiles and um, what they could be used for. Um, so there's always the milder guys in the whole thing, and yeah, that was us, eh? <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying this is a sweet curry sauce. It's beautiful. 14, right, it's not shaking. Next one, red rim fire. Okay, so we're heating it up a bit by the sound of things. Number three, red rim fire. Yeah, that was Tim's uh, addition to the sauce, so yeah. <clears throat> you feel that curry getting a bit thickly, sweetly sticky in the back of the throat, making it hard to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's coming. <laughs> right, ready to fire. Should be mm -hmm. easier to uh, drink. Yeah. Put one go. down. Lovely. Um... Again, sweet one. Not as chunky as um, the Harry Curry. Um, Heat-wise, I wouldn't say it's that much hotter than the Harry Curry. Um, but a nice flavor as well. Um, different, obviously, the curry one in this one is very, very different. 
Now the problem is where you start, all the flavors are starting to sort of blend and it's starting to become difficult to separate each one at a time. There's a bit of warmth coming up now um, on the back of the tongue again. It's kicked up again, another level. And uh, yeah, it's, nice. it's, it's sweet saliva sticky at the back of the throat makes it difficult to swallow, which is ah, got it. Um, then when you try and talk through that, that sticky bubble at the back of your throat. <laughs> hey, was the next time we're done. Right, number four, we have the Naga Rookie San. Right, oh, Naga, here we go. <laughs> I think this is where things are going to start stepping up. I a think bit. so. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can taste the Naga in that one. Completely <laughs> different um, flavor profile. Um, that nugger, I don't know what you could put it to. Like, uh, this has got a completely different flavor profile than nugger school, um, nugger chili, but that is definitely another step up in the heat level. Like it, um, that was my addition to the sauce set, and uh, yeah, yeah. Next, we will uh, be having uh, Isaac's one coming up, Isaac, uh, the Grim Creeper. That's him. He loves his Reaper. I just realized I made my, my rookie mistake for the hundredth time. I haven't got any roller tile with me. <laughs> <laughs> I said to myself, I'll try to get all this, shit to, all this stuff together. Don't forget the roller tile. What do I do? Forget the roller tile. <laughs> the nugget's crawling up here slowly, that heat's building. Um, definitely uh, it's burning. Oh, she's that long to go still. <laughs> Um, yeah, it did step up the heat, definitely at the back of the throat now, it's like, hello, I'm here. So, this one's going to be another one. I can feel the <laughs> eyes um, starting to uh, well, shall we say. But, um, Good yeah, flavor it's, journey. It's very good. They're all so different. Um, really good flavors. Number five. Let's go. And this is the Grim Creeper. Right, you all know what this is about. That's a reaper. <sighs> Off we go. Let's start it. Yeah. Definitely reaper based. You can you can smell it, you can taste it straight away what a reaper tastes like. Um I suppose we'll give it that about two minutes before it kicks in. It uh, doesn't mm. tend to kick straight away. And then you're Hence, already going to be on the next one. So, <laughs> yeah. Hence the Grim Creeper. And I'm sure it's like a blend of everything, there to dad. I must say, the challenge is, uh, is that minute. It is, it's not easy just having a minute between each chug. It's Look, nice it's setup. a tough one. It's not something I'm going to do uh, very soon. So well done for doing it. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not too bad yet. That's <laughs> off. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. Now you can definitely feel the back of the throat starting to take a bit of strain. Here we go. <coughs> Dead to dab. Now this is where it's going to get interesting. I'm sure. And then the three minutes. Okay, so the three minute time is starting. I hope so. Now, there we go. I'm about 10 seconds ahead of that. Um, yeah. Another nice sauce, but you can definitely feel them all having a party at the back of your throat. And probably in the stomach a bit later. A bit later, yeah. Um, that's well, That might be a, a potential problem. But uh, right now, sides of the tongue and the back of the throat definitely um, is a huge mosh pit going on there. 
and they're slam dancing and head banging at the back of the throat. I'm slipping out of the tear pantera going on then. Um, <laughs> yeah, the eyes are actually doing all right for the moment, so that's a good thing. Nose, uh, not too bad, but I always have a, a sinus problem, so this to be expected. Um, but yeah, I think it's a it's a very tasty challenge, and I do think not everybody's going to make it. Um, there are going to be some people probably off the bottle four. For the first few bottles are definitely possible. Mm -hmm. They they easy. Yeah. Four step up a notch. Uh, your Grim Creeper, the two notches. And bottle number six, on top of all the other ones, it just <laughs> takes up another three or four notches. Mm, we know... Uh, awesome, you know, awesome. Um, uh, yeah, well, we know these sources are quality made. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I could see dragons, breath coming, there was flames coming out. <laughs> it's on the back of the throat big time. Let's see, and we are on 50. Let's see, we're on its timer. 50. Awesome. Is it still building or is it busy reciting a bit? Uh, it's, it's, it's leveled off. It doesn't make it any easier because it's at a higher heat level. It's not going up. Um, the Reapers, I'm not sure about him, what he's decided to do. He's going to come back <laughs> by just now. But, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's leveled off. You can definitely feel some sort of a gut bomb going on. So that's not uh, something I want to look forward to in an hour or two's time. I'm going to start start <laughs> testing. But overall, a lovely flavor profile through all, throughout all six sources. And there'll someday they'll actually use a general day-to-day -day source for salads or whatever. Boom. The three-minute timer is gone. You did it. Well done. Well Let's done. Go. Our first chunk challenge down. Hey, hey. Pleased to be part of it, eh? Did well well done. Thank, Thank you, you very much, man. A pleasure. And let us and, know uh, how you well feel later. You guys. <coughs> <coughs> you put together a fantastic product here. And uh, I recommend it for a party. Thanks Have to our manufacturers for doing a great product for us. It's a pleasure. You guys, you Dude. take care. Thank, Thank you. Guys, guys, See you stay safe. See you soon. Yes. How are you? Exactly. So now, thanks to that video and this video, you guys know we didn't lie. It's out, yeah. It's out. It's, we it's built alive. anticipation for something that's actually arrived. Yes, the colors really look great. Yeah, man, I'm so amped. And guys, we'll be selling uh, about 400. It's going to be going 400 for a box. Please support it. Um, we're going to get uh, other retailers on board as well to sell it. And yeah, we'll let yeah. you know as soon as that happens. And also, um, by supporting us by getting this challenge, it supports the Capsicum Show Challenge. It's not a way for us to live better lives at home. It's mm. a way to keep expanding on the Capsicum Show concerning ach, equipment, anything, off-site shoots and all of that, that, so we can bring more content to you guys and have more guests on the show. Mm. We and can actually pay clowns in to be on the show. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got another star here today. Um, mm. uh, forage. And feast, habanero sauce. Oh, look at that color. Um, our producer Ryan got this somewhere from a shop. It's nicely sealed. Yeah, cracking it for the first time. Like a little half jack bottle. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see what this one's gonna I be. wonder, did they buy the half jack bottle new or was there something in there and they just got a new cap for it? Not completely, you can see this <laughs> is new. Yeah, no. Look. Hmm, smell there. Yo, that is like. Very fruity. This one that is, is pure a local, habanero flavor. Locally made from picked habanero and chilies, olive and garlic, specially selected Swartland.
kraan en hand pik chilies. Oh, sê is van die Swartland, hey. Hey, we are on it to try something from the Swartland. Put some on bread here and see how she goes. Exactly. Put mm. enough Lekker on the bread. consistency. For a Seems like produced. it. And the smell is good. Good bite. Mm. For a store bought sauce, habanero, that's not bad. Eh? Not at all. Not at all. And you don't always get a lot of mass produced sauces that go as hot as habanero. But for habanero sauce, very good. Um, you can taste. It's definitely a vinegar based sauce. You can taste it. That's why it's got such a lack of little bite. The habanero chilies are 32.9%. That's quite ah, right. Okay. Mm. That's also, that's an amazing uh, percentage for a store-bought sauce. Mm, you know? Definitely. Well done. Because normally, with your mass-produced stuff, people are scared. And they do, per quantity, or let's say per bottle, there will be one little habanero in there because they're scared that people are not going to like the sauce. And So, this having that high percentage is actually quite good. I, I'll eat that every day, to be honest. It's not bad. Um, no, thanks, Ron. That was a cracker. But I still want to get back to this. Yeah. Um, Let's just close this up so it can stay fresh. As you see, we've got six different sauces. Uh, one to six. Sauce one being salad dressing. The name says it all. It's a salad dressing with a, a bite. Name was selected by Rob. The uh, second one is Hari Curry. That was Bry Boy's um, uh, option. Then uh, Mr. Tim came in with the red rim fire sauce at number three. I got the uh, Naga Ruki Sun at number four. Well, then obviously it just leaves Isak from the Flamers Five and he went for the Grim Reaper. Now the sixth bottle... The Grim Creeper. Yeah, the Grim Creeper, sorry. <laughs> the sixth bottle is Dare to Dare. Um, yeah, I'd say for a chugging contest, it's very possible for most people to do one, two, three easily. Mm. I think here yeah, from four, four is really going to get tough. And then yeah. there's five, the Grim Creeper, and then obviously there to there. Well, you can use the box as well, not just for a chug challenge. You can have a bit of wings. Tell us. Exactly, son. exactly. So, so with the wings, um, in my opinion, even, even the normal folk out there that doesn't have the same tolerance as your average chili head or people like us or so will be able to handle the challenge box. Look, you might feel like you are wanting to die, at the, at the last source, but you'll be able to easily handle it without too many, if at all, side effects or whatever the case is. And with wings, the nice thing about the wings is you can, there's a whole bunch of different ways how you can experiment with a box with wings. You can either go for just coating the wings or putting the sauce directly on it and then chowing a wing as quickly as you can, wait a couple of seconds or so before, let, let's say 30 seconds before you chow the next wing. And so you build a challenge, or you can go for a speed challenge. Coat all your wings and see how quickly you can finish all the wings. And whichever way you do it, three minutes after burn without drinking or eating anything else to subside the burn and see if you can last. Well, there you go. Many ways to have fun with the Capsicum Show Challenge Box. You can even prank your buddy, mm. whatever. So um, Many ways to kill a cat yeah. with chili sauce. Right. <laughs> and have a laugh. Huh? Exactly. Well, exactly. that one... Uh, We've got some unpacking to do, as uh, this just got delivered. Yeah. Stay hot. And stay healthy. This is the habanero, and it's a good bike. It's my fucking rubbish.